Did you say 3X faster for all Flux models? Yeah, let me show you how. <gasps> Woo! In this video, I want to introduce you to a method that you can use to run Flux Context and Flux at a speed approximately three times faster than its normal state. For example, on my system, which has a 3060 graphics card with 12 GB of VRAM, almost every generation I get with Flux Context takes about 1 minute and 30 seconds. But with this method, I can do each generation in just 23 seconds, which is exactly three times faster and significantly speeds up your work. The next point is be aware that this only works on NVIDIA RTX graphics cards on Windows. It does not work on AMD graphics cards or on non-RTX series cards. And it doesn't work on other operation systems either, only Windows. So Mac OS AMD graphic cards cannot use this method. This method is called Nunchako and if you go to its GitHub page for Comfy UI, you'll see a page like this. I'll put the link for you in the description. To use this method in addition to using the exclusive Nunchaku models for Flux Context and Flux, you also need to install the special Nunchaku version of Comfy UI. This version of Comfy UI is specifically for using Nunchako and on this GitHub page, the complete installation method and all the details are available. I'll now give you the installation tutorial and we'll go through the installation process. For installing this version of Comfy UI, be careful that you don't need to delete your previous Comfy UI or replace it. Let your old one stay where it is and install this new version alongside it. And the good news is I'll tell you how to transfer all the settings and models from your old Comfy UI to this new Comfy UI. The first step is to download this file. You click on the word here and download this file. It doesn't have a large size. You take this downloaded zip file and extract it to one of your other drives, not the C drive or the drive where Windows is installed. Be sure to pay attention to this point. It's important. It should not be on the C drive, not on the drive where your Windows is installed. You put it on another drive and extract it there. A folder like this will be added for you. You open it and we have a file called comfyuiezinunchako.bat Now some of you depending on your windows settings might not see the .bat format. It is not a problem if it doesn't show up. It's still the comfyuiezinunchako file. Whether it shows the .bat or not, it makes no difference. You come and open this file with a good internet connection that should be fast and not disconnect. If you see that it's not downloading or it's giving you trouble, you can restart your internet, disconnect and reconnect it. Change the network conditions in a way that you can complete this installation step because it needs to download some large files, maybe about 5 or 6 gigabytes of files and it shouldn't disconnect in the middle. Otherwise, you should start again from scratch. Simply open this file with a double click. You don't need to use run as administrator. There's no need for this. You shouldn't do that. Just open it simply. And this terminal page for the files installation will open for you. Here it will go through all the steps. It will download the necessary files. Now since I've already installed it, I won't repeat these steps. It takes a lot of time. Depending on your internet speed, this time can be shorter or longer. You let these steps pass completely and reach this page. This page you see here. It will show you a page like this and say, for example, the total installation time took this long and you can press any key you want to exit this installation page. Once you get here, you press any key you want and you exit this page. And a folder like this is added to this section. You open this folder and this becomes your entire new Comfy UI that you can use. Now to use the Nunchaku version of Flux Context and regular Flux, you must download their specific models. 
I'll also put the links for these two models for you. One is for Flux Context and the other is for regular Flux. On these two pages, you see here the Hugging Face pages. For each of these Flux versions, you have two files. One is the FP4 version and other is the INT4 version, INT4. If you're using NVIDIA RTX 2000, 3000 and 4000 series graphics cards, you should use the INT4 file and download it. If you're using the NVIDIA RTX 5000 series, use the FP4 version. It's the same for FluxDev, it's no different, the same condition applies. After downloading the file, you need to put it in Comfy UI folder, in the Models folder, and in the Diffusion Models folder, and you place it here. Okay, that's that. Now you can also put it in your old Comfy UI folder, in the Models and Diffusion Models path. You can put it there too, it makes no difference. Because now I want to tell you a method so that all the old models from your previous version of Comfy UI can be loaded directly from there into this new folder without copying them. I mean you don't need to have two separated files of a same model in old Comfy UI and in the new Comfy UI which is Nunchako. So with this method all the old models and this new one from your previous version of Comfy UI can be loaded directly from there into this new folder without copying them. How does it work? You come to this first page, this one, and there's a file here called extramodelpathsmaker.bat. Simply you copy this file from here and go to your old Comfy UI folder into the Comfy UI and Models folder and you paste this file here. After you paste it, you run it once with a double click. When you do this, it will create a new file for you named extramodelpass.yaml. Okay, you take this newly created file and you cut it from here or copy it however you want and you transfer it to this Nunchaku Comfy UI that you have. To the Comfy UI section, I mean Comfy UI folder, and you paste it here. And that's it. This means that the models you had before will be loaded directly from the path of your old Comfy UI. You also need to do one more thing to transfer your old Comfy UI settings to the new Comfy UI, which is to copy these files mentioned on the GitHub page from your old Comfy UI path to new Comfy UI. You see these ones. They should copy exactly in the same path that is written for you here. You don't need this one because we just did it a moment ago. Now for this one, run nvidia gpu.bat. You come and copy it. Where is it? In our old Comfy UI. It's this file. You copy this file, which is the main executable file of Comfy UI, and you replace this file that is for the Nunchaku Comfy UI. And then, for the next one, as it says here, you come to Comfy UI folder, user folder, then default folder. You copy the comfy.setting.json file, exactly this file, and you put it in the exact same path in the Nunchako Comfy UI folder. And also these other two files you see here in the GitHub. You put these in so that your settings are also transferred to the new Comfy UI. And after you do all these things, you come to running the Nunchaku Comfy UI with the run nvidia gpu.bat file. You run this, the Nunchaku opens for you. It has environment like this. You will see some new things inside it and its appearance is a little different. For example, here we have a tool that if you right click on it, you can clear the VRAM or the graphic card memory after each run if it gets full and gives you a VRAM error so that it's empty for the next run and doesn't give you a VRAM error. And that's all, there's nothing else special. The only difference is that in the workflows you had for Flux Context and Flux, you need to change two of the nodes. Previously in the Flux Context and General Flux workflows, we had a load diffusion model node 
where we would load the main flux model here and a dual clip loader node that would load the text encoders. In the Nunchaku Comfy UI, instead of the load diffusion model node, we use the Nunchaku DIT loader node. If you search for Nunchaku DIT loader like this, you click on it and open it here. And this is the node. You select the name of the new model you downloaded, SVDQ Flux Context or the Flux Dev. You should choose the Nunchaku version of Flux models. You don't touch the rest of its settings and you connect it to the K sampler. Or for example, if you want to load a LoRa, you need to double click on the screen and search for Nunchaku Flux 1 LoRa Loader. And this is the note. And if you needed two LoRa's to be loaded by holding down the Alt key on the keyboard and dragging and dropping the LoRa node, you'll get a copy of it and you connect these LoRa's to each other. You also connect the main flux model node to the first LoRa and connect the second LoRa to the case sampler. It's that simple. For the dual clip loader as well, instead of the previous node, you come and use the Nunchaku text encoder loader version 2. You search for it. Here it is. I click on it and I have it here. And you go into the text encoder 1 section and choose the clip L option. In the text encoder 2, you choose T5XXL and that's it. The other parts are the same as before. And for any flux workflow you had, it's enough to just change and replace these two nodes. I'll also provide this complete workflow for you to download. Simply go to the description and click download button to download the workflow, it's free. Now we can test it with a simple prompt I had here. First I load my image like this and my prompt is ready and I hit run. Okay, so that's it. You can see that it has done this work for me in about 23 seconds. Of course, I'm screen recording right now and the speed has decreased. Whereas with the previous Flux Context model, it would take about one minute and a half. And overall, the quality is very good and its quality is no different from the original Flux Context. You can do the exact same thing for Flux Dev as well. You download this model and you can use the Flux Dev workflow itself, which I've put countless times on the channel, like the regular text to image flux, and you just replace these notes. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.